Hello everyone, Jeff here and welcome back. It's finally happened. I'll post a picture on the screen of my time played, but I have finally found the multi-head unique mythic staff for Maris. It's taken me well over 100 hours and now we can do some fun stuff. So you might look at the staff and think it's not very good because it does nine damage, but we don't really care about attack damage with this. We really just want it for the fact that it shoots three projectiles and it also gives plus three spell projectiles so you want to get time to use times uh, basic attack to generate xp while also not defeating the enemies so it's like actually good it does less damage and then what we're going to be doing is we've got a little bit of spell damage but we're gonna be using a lot of uh extra spells so we've got three here we've got one here um I've got six alteration dice to get what we want. Uh, um, decent master offers, not great, not bad. Decent life, not very much armor, defense. We need to pick that stuff up on the shrine. Um, very small spell crit, uh, but decent XP gain and whatnot. And we're also not using infinite range today. We're using two projectiles. So we're starting out with plus six projectiles on our spells. So what I would like to do is uh get time obviously i mean yeah we could go with lady justice but that's not really where i want to be so the thing is right meteor shower dropping 10 projectiles isn't the craziest thing i've ever heard of so let's try it uh we could also do flare flare is fine Uh, again, of note, we want time, the basic attack, to generate XP for us. It's very important. Thanks, Summer. Oh, 14% spell damage is incredible. I did not mean to cut off her audio. I feel a little bit bad about that. That's kind of like sacrilege in this channel. Summer is best girl. Don't cut off her audio. I'm going to pick up this damage thing. So we can hit for 18. Winter! with blight and spell area okay okay look we're doing things right now i'll take it so yeah it says three but actually what it really says is nine so <laughs> yeah let's go ahead and pick this up and just start walking around plus vehemence plus spell like spell area. we really need time now so Krom would be good because blades would have, there'd be seven blades, but we need, we need this um, because we're going to need force as well for pickup range. It's kind of important with what we're doing here. So uh, now, you know, we're early on. This obviously is not going to be as powerful as a you know, death time, infinite pull range, degenerate, broken run. But we're doing things that we couldn't do before, and I like it. Also, I'm going to turn off alerts while I'm recording uh, because that's what I should be doing. My bad, guys. Um, I don't think I need to take Splinter here. I think we're about off taking extra HP. But uh, yeah, so that was my Christmas present from Death Must Die. In addition to the staff, we also finally got this thing that I've been looking for forever. Now I'm on the hunt for dash boots for Nixie, because if I can get some, uh, let me clarify, some boots that have cool off on them. If I can get cool off boots for Nixie, I can do some really dumb builds. But you actually have to find them. Well, this is, this is all insane. Um. I'm actually going to take Frost Ring because we're going to want spell area and we're going to be attacking really fast as soon as Jim High shows up. Realistically. Um, at some point, we're going to want Meteor Storm. Swarm. Storm. I don't know. It's going to be a storm. There's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of meteors. Um, let's keep taking Vigor. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. So, 
the concern here, right, is our single target damage is not realistically going to be very good. Yes. But that's just part of the deal. We could... Like, we could just take early Alteration Ritual and hope we get lucky and hit Pandemonium a few times. Like, I think that's... I think it's reasonable to take Alteration Ritual early at least one point of it. Um, just for the fact that you can roll into Pandemonium at all. It's kind of ridiculous that that's a thing you can do. But, um, and, you know, and the, the stat bonuses, bonuses are permanent. Um, oh, okay, well, uh, forget everything else I've said, uh, now we're just generating, like, an absurd amount of XP. Because we're gonna be doing, um, uh, well, as soon as we get meteors, we're gonna be generating an outrageous amount of experience but i'm not gonna like force it i guess let's gonna take this one for now like we could take blight up but we don't really need to look at all like we need gem high we need force and we need meteors i i don't think i've ever said i need meteors in this game before but here we are all right, we're just gonna take Vigor just to get it out of the way. It's not what we want to be doing, but... <laughs> you see Alteration Ritual rolling into a high-level Splinter. That's why we have a, a billion projectiles right now. Um, Vehemence is... Actually... Okay, we have temporary extra banishes right now. I kind of want incineration and combust though. I think it's realistic that we get another level before we lose that alteration. Or the ex not the alteration, the extra dice we got. Um I would not mind banishing warp strike if you know we were lucky enough for that to happen. But I'll take what we can get. I will banish Breath of Fire. And I'm going to reroll now. I really, like, really want to hit Meteor Shower better than... Better than Novice. This is not not it. I'll reroll again. Whatever. It's extra. Okay, well. <laughs> Doesn't want to give it to me. I would take Adept Meteor Shower. I just don't want to take Novice meteor shower if that makes sense like i have a decent enough chance to get adept offers that it seems ridiculous to me to even attempt uh to, to even think about taking novice of a skill that i'm that i care about oh, armor is a big deal here like we just gained like 13 percent damage reduction or something like that yeah, this is not gonna be like one of those free win runs right we're we're not we're using winter and summer here. Um, oh, wait. Dive has a ton of extra projectiles, and they're going to be large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Is, is dive the secret to this run? I haven't really messed around with dive much, to be honest. But those shards pierce, and they do a lot of freezing. Okay, we... I kind of, I kind of need to stop with the fates here. I need... We, we actually, unironically, need Meteor. Which is ridiculous. I know I banished Breath of Fire, it seems, okay. Um, we... Wait, why is Summoner here? We rolled into Necromancy. Okay, this is a weird situation, right? Because 
Well, first of all, we're going to do it this. So, because we ruled dice again. So if we were to hit summoner, like if we take summoner now, it's only good if we roll into dragons later. I th or whatever we alterate into. However, we're four minutes in. I, I think it's reasonable to like attempt that. I don't think we're entirely unlikely to hit a si one of the dragons over the course of the run, given the amount of XP we're given, we're getting right now. I also think, don't think it's unreasonable for us to have skeletons and our ravens up a certain number of the time, a certain amount of the time from uh, alteration ritual, especially if I put more points into it. So I don't know. Light to expert seems very good. Um, I don't think I actually have any healing on my gear, which is also like a relevant thing to be aware of. Um, no, there's no healing here. There's not even extra pickups, so. That's interesting. Okay, I mean, I'll just keep taking vehemence if it's. Like, it's fine. Oh, shurikens is pretty nice, actually. Yeah, I don't know. We could do some real things. I think the obvious build with all these projectiles is to actually take infinite range, right? Go lightning and get the extra projectiles from lightning bolt. Okay, here we go. Now it actually has nine meteors dropping. Let's see if nine meteors actually drop. It's like they're dropping off screen. They're definitely dropping off screen. It's still gonna increase our XP gain from Gehenna, so oh, it's fine. The gifts of my sister? Okay, fine. I guess you need to cool off from time to time. You can't be searing hot like me all the time. Nobody can. Nobody can, Summer. All right. Extra 70% damage there. We're up to 154. It's a decent number. We really need uh, to pick up force. Dragons. I feel like dragons shouldn't be a problem here. Not that we're going to be good against them, right? But... I thought something popped our Divine Shield and I realized it just ran out from Alteration Ritual. Frost Ring up? No, we just take... Well, this is actually weird. I think we're supposed to take Blight and try and hope for a bigger Winter Tide because Winter Tide is going to be so impactful to this build. Like, it's going to be really important later on. Basically, we're going to be covering the entire screen in Frostfire. Um, Death, yeah. has Death has grown arrogant. This is... Just give me alteration ritual 40 seconds, seconds. Not excited about it, but... I don't think I'm really willing to use an alteration dice there. So, Meteor Shower, damage up, yeah, seems like an obvious play. This is a lot of leveling. There's Gem High, but it's also like, bad Gem High. Alright, we take Adept Force here, it's a lot of pickup range. So Gym High is a big deal because not only does it increase our attack speed for Warp Strike, it also increases the spell speed 
for Blight and Meteor Swarm. So, is it Meteor Swarm or Meteor? I keep saying Meteor Shower. Wow. Literally, I was saying it two different ways, and both of them were incorrect, and I don't know why. Probably because it's just so bad. I'm gonna keep putting points into it. One thing I noticed too is once you put um, like five points into something, you're very likely to get an uh, an upgrade on something to like the next tier from novice to adept to expert. So you're not like locked out. It's just that you can't get it to master. Which is an interesting design choice. Yeah, Jim Haste would be nice here. We're definitely struggling with um, health at the moment. All right, Jim High. I really, really not feeling this. Well, let's alterate. I think it's time. Um, shards pierce. Shards deal a bit more damage. Let's take blight up. There's a lot of skills we want right now. Okay, well that's that's good. There's a well and a heart. Enemies on fire is good. Um, force? Yeah, force is going to be a lot of our damage here. Which is probably not good. This might be one of the worst combinations of gods, honestly. I think we're supposed to take Master Incineration. just feels right. We should be leaving quite a bit of burning. We should be getting spell duration up at some point during this run. I mean, we're level 25 at 10 minutes and 30 seconds, which is ridiculous, but we're not near as strong as basically a, a build that only has Soul Stealers, Mayhem, and Lifelink, which is really kind of sad when you think about balance but you know they'll get it right eventually um let's just go ahead and take a lot it's fine buffs alteration ritual buffs burning duration on the ground buffs blight duration and so on and so on again at this point we're really just like looking for healing Also, at some point we get gem high and we become significantly more powerful than we are right now. Um, we could take flare expert, which oddly doesn't increase anything but the damage. I mean, that's still good, 50% chance. I really, I think the next level, we really need to hit gym high. Because otherwise the slimes are going to potentially be a problem. Or combust. I think combust would probably do something similar. We'll see. Probably hit a legendary here now. Oh, pfft. All right, how greedy am I? I think we all know the answer to that. If you've been watching this channel for a lo uh, long enough, you know that you know that I'm not passing wisdom there. 
Infinite greed. Let's go. Uh oh, okay, there's Jim High. Now we're now we're moving. Literally. Uh yeah, I'll take more XP now. I'm stuck on the obelisk of greed. How wildly appropriate. Lagging there, but you could use some hotness. I absolutely yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh that raises damage by uh 50? <laughs> like it doubles the damage? Meteor shower damage up goes uh up by one. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird how that works. All right, player, you can go up. Well, alteration ritual. Since you're already kind of going crazy. Why not? Yeah, Alteration Ritual may carry this run. Um... Big Blight. What if we just level up every skill we wanted to max? Is that is that possible? What level, what level do I need to be for that? I say this, but I'm still at 120 life with no revives. Which isn't low or anything, but um, not exactly a defensive character. Or a high damage character. I mean, I guess we have a lot of crowd control. Rostering, Blight Expert. We get Blight Expert and we get it out of the pool. It has um, <laughs> 13 projectiles. It's pretty good against groups. I think that's the thing. We didn't really need summer and winter. All right, there's combust. Let's just take it. It's another thing that alteration can't roll into. It's all. Uh, it's also something that if alteration hits uh, pandemonium, we get ourselves a good old uh, free levels. So that's nice. The Necromancer, huh? So, the thing about this guy is we're not gonna do any damage to him. Okay, this is why we're saving our, our alteration rituals for, um, not that. Take deadlock, I guess. I can't help but notice. I was gonna say, I can't help but notice we're not doing any damage to him, but I guess we are kind of doing damage to him. In a very indirect manner. I think most of the damage is gonna come from like multiple flares being shot back. maybe combust going off nearby him. But yeah, we kind of have this problem where like, what are we supposed to, okay, we'll take wisdom. Like, how am I supposed to kill him? I'm like, this goes a little bit further too, because right, because how am I supposed to kill Dracula? We're at fifteen thirty, and Necromancer isn't even at half health. What am I supposed to do against Dracula? <laughs> that same thing. Like, I think we actually need a dragon to show up. Um, 
Um, these are not dragons. Maybe take force here. This is, I'll be honest with you guys, this is feeling like a loss right about now. It's feeling like all this XP and everything that we're doing is just, um, all for naught. Because we have no single target. And we're paying for it greatly at the moment. That's what I get for trying to be cute with summer and winter. Uh, spell speeds is actually really good. Fighting Necromancer at the same time as these guys is not great. Uh, I need help. Let's alterate. That's not. I, I guess Thaw is fine, but it's only attack damage. And the problem is only attack damage doesn't actually help us. Because we don't have any attack damage. I'll take more, heal more healing. Alright, we're dead. Yeah. That was kind of expected. Let's look at the look at the damage numbers. It's so bad. It's so bad. Okay. Okay, we're going to run this back. Also, we got no gear. How is it even possible? All right, let's check to see if the shop decided to give us anything good for our suffering. Um There's a an interesting headpiece there. Spell area. Close. It's close. I don't think I want it. Poison dash. Okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Similar run. Similar run. But this time... We're not going to take the... We're not going to take winter. That's the first thing. We are going to take blades. Um, do I click on this tree right now? Hi again. So if we take Mort, what do we get? Lifelink gets extra drain links. And we would also get um, projectile count, uh, like deadly strike pierces. It's really good. And prox cursed. And then we'd also get um, soul stealers. Oh, we could do this. We could, okay, let's do a deadly strike and then get something else. Okay, oh, that's funny. Uh, I'm going to click this and take spell area and spell damage. Actually, I should have taken spell projectiles. What was I thinking? We don't need luck. We're a spell projectile build. I don't know what I was doing. Um, I had a moment. Are... We could go Lady Justice to make this run like super safe. Um, But I think it would be more fun to get lightning. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Now let's see if we can hit like something with some rarity here. Sure, sure. Let's just take paste. This is fine. So now the only sad part we have is that our pickup range is really bad. The cool part is we're actually using deadly strike with four projectiles to start with on Maris, which I'm a big fan of. Oh, do we have more? Um, I'm going to take Fury, actually. Uh, so, Blades with all these projectiles is kind of insane. Why Blades is better than Meteor Swarm and light with all this stuff. I'm not really sure, but it does seem to be the way. Shuriken's also decent, but let's just take blades and go crazy with that.
And we also want, oh, so, so one thing too is spell projectiles also affect the number of summons you have. So like every, so for ravens, we're just gonna get like six extra ravens, which is would be pretty cool. And then we can also get, you know, however extra many soul stealers we get straight out the gate. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna take haste again. I don't think lightning was realistically as good as taking justice for our chances of winning. It was more so for fun. Because lightning bolt and lightning orbs are pretty entertaining with extra projectiles. Um... I mean, we could bloodlust. Like, the real problem is our auto attack still doesn't do anything. We need it. If enemies aren't cursed, it doesn't do anything. But if enemies are cursed, it's pretty good. That's another thing about the, like, the staff. Even if it doesn't do much auto attack damage, even if it's so okay fatalities fantastic obviously um if you take summer's attack you apply burn on every hit which is good um obviously time gives you like absurd xp uh in this case so if we took ravens we get 10 ravens if we take phantoms every time it goes off we get um well that many at rank one And then it curses enemies, and then we break the curse immediately because we're spamming our attacks and so on and so on. So yeah, this, this is gonna be a good run. Now we don't have the luck um, factor that we normally would on my Nixie runs that I love so much, but we can, you know, click some stuff. We take expert shurikens as like a one hit wonder. Three and one. Ready to bloodlust, right? Yeah. Okay. We don't really ever need to take that again. Notice how many um, shuriken it's already it's already firing. I think we're already stronger than we were last time. And if we hit mayhem, then we're definitely stronger. Like a lot stronger um to the point that we should probably try and roll for it that's not it that's not it at all but that's fine yeah i'll keep using our alterations for that to try and get mayhem as fast as possible. If we get mayhem before the slimes, that would be really cool. Having to pick up XP is just off. You know what? Just common mayhem. Let's go. It's fine. Better to just get it now. It's going to scale out of control. Look <laughs> at these blades. All right, I'm just gonna stand over here and just, okay, our attack speed goes, we're going crazy already. Uh, vampirism? Um, this is close. We have very low max H, or very low armor right now. The problem with vampirism is we give up our armor, right? We don't have any revives. We're also giving up ravens and serendipity, but what we get is a way to heal on a character that has no other way to heal. 
naturally with insane attack speed from Bloodlust. So I think Bloodlust plus Vampirism is like thematically appropriate as well. So I'm down. Now we do have to be careful because there's a couple spots where we could just outright lose because of it. Uh, oh. Well, now that we're doing this, I guess we take... Oh, well, Vigor is an easy choice now. Um, I was going to say, the... The point right after Necromancer and the Frost Archers at, like, 18 minutes are both very frightening when you have no armor. Um, you don't really realize how good armor, like a little bit of armor is until you don't have any. And then you realize like, oh god, what have I done? Uh, this is terrible. I mean, we're supposed to take Chains of War here, but like we're not actually supposed to be happy about it. See, it's funny, too, because this is actually one of those cases where I talk, you know, in my gear guide, I talked about how alteration dice and reroll dice are so much better than banished dice, and they are most of the time. This is one of those times where banished dice would be way better because, well, Krom, or, yeah, Krom doesn't have a lot of skills you want. Like, there's... After Blades, I'm kind... I'd be kind of fine with just banishing literally everything from him. After Blades and Bloodlust, and the singleton point of... Shurikens with Pierce. The Reaper does not listen to the Harvest. So maybe it's high time he started. All right, Mort. What what's what's up with you? <laughs> what's going on, girl? Uh, take Soul Stealers again. I love after taking Vampirism, finding nothing but healing shrines. By the way, it's like a nice touch. So yeah, uh, I mean, obviously. The plus two projectile sign is way, way worse than the infinite full range sign. Uh, corrupted. Okay, great. That's, that's great. We have 12%. But, I don't know. It's fun. Soul Stealers doing Soul Stealers things. See, look how much damage we took from just a random claw attack there. Now, the good news is we fully heal fairly quickly. Um, Mayhem to Adept? Yeah. Hey, actual gear. That's crazy. Um, nope. Uh, I don't want it. I don't want it. We could take Adept. Or we take Lifelink if we want. I guess Lifelink was some healing. Technically. I think we're just supposed to take Ravens, honestly. Any extra source of curses? to bump up our basic attack. Can he like calm down a little bit? He's a little too aggressive. Also notice most of our attacks that we're using right now are not master offers, they're adept, which it's a little disappointing, but make it do. So we got my mother-in-law a TV for, for Christmas and um, she was like, on she was like, I don't need a TV. I didn't, you know, I didn't need it. It's this. I just, you know, I just watch my normal stuff. Ever since, she's been like, 
we walk in to her living room or whatever, and she's just watching the most random shit that she found on the TV because now she has like easier, it's like easier for her to access. It's just hilarious. I don't know, I just felt like sharing. Sometimes it's the little things in life that make you happy, you know? We felt like this Christmas went really well for like gift giving. Almost made my sister cry. That was a nice, that was a nice moment. I didn't want her to actually cry because then I would have felt bad and I would have started crying and I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. Plus like chance of getting sick again and I don't, I don't need that, right? But like... That was cool. My brother-in-law shooting a dog toy in our in my in my in-laws house for uh you know because he couldn't literally couldn't wait to get home and use it just fun fun things just fun things it's a good it's a good christmas and christmas is not always the best because fun story when i grew up on my so parents divorced obviously you know millennial things right uh, be a little personal here, I guess, but, um, on my mom's side, we didn't celebrate really Christmas at all. Am I taking a novice offer right now? It's, it's gonna be lightning orbs, whatever. Um, anyways. I, I, we knock back. All right, anyways, um, yeah, we didn't celebrate Christmas at all. So, on my mom's side, I would never get anything for Christmas. And so Christmas was always kind of like a weird time. So if I was with my mom, like side of the family, on Christmas, it's kind of weird like being a kid and not celebrating it. Because we also didn't like celebrate Hanukkah or anything like that. There was just nothing. There was just a whole lot of blank. Now, that's not to say I didn't get anything, because on my dad's side, my great-grandmother was, like, the sweetest old lady in the world, who was like, Hey, Jeff, here's PlayStation and Final Fantasy VII. It's gonna change your life, and that happened and whatnot. But, like, um... <laughs> Sorry, Dad. But, um... Yeah, it's really nice now. I think my point was that it's nice now, like having, I don't know, good Christmases, when as a kid, Christmas was kind of like a, this very hit or miss thing with, like, and then, you know, because then when the parents divorce, and the, then the parents are remarried, and then there's, like, some in-law stuff, and then you, like, are, well, your step-family, and then your step-family kind of, well, you don't like them because reasons. I'm not gonna get into that because I'm gonna start slandering people that I don't need to. But um, I think a lot of people can relate to that, and it's you know, I don't know, something to be appreciative of now. Uh, Blades expert is also something to be appreciative of. You know what I'm also appreciative of that um, we're about to hit 5,000 subs on this channel. Like, we may hit it before New Year's, I don't know, you know, it's it's weird this time, you know, there's only a few days left and a little under 100 over, or away, but, um, you know, that's awesome, and I really pre appreciate everyone who's been, like, watching and subscribing, commenting, and chilling on the streams, hanging out in Discord, um, you know, this is fun, this is, like, this is what I want to pursue as a career, not, you know, corporate BS, so. And it's looking like that's um, a realistic option at this point. You know, if things continue to go the way it is, obviously not feasible yet, but, but we're on the way. And, ah, uh, you know, you know, I don't know, good Christmas, I don't know. Enough sappy shit, um, let's get back to the killing. More common, 
more com uh, you know what let's take ball lightning it's fine the little zippity zap around here um how strong is mayhem now 106 percent it's not bad Look at all that XP. Let's be real. Lightning bolt, I guess. Fine. Um, just keep taking seren yeah, keep taking serendipity with soul sealers. It's kind of hard to not. We're so slow. After the cool off Nixie runs, I feel like we're going in slow motion, honestly. It's kind of rough. Um, uh, take so slowly. Though. Sickles doesn't really do anything because it scales off our attack power and, well, I think our attack, yeah, we do 30, so that's not incredible, you know, uh, a serendipity up. It's another time when banish would be nice to get rid of deadly strike here. So this, uh, so if I was trying to build like this, like set up, right? Like, infinite pull, farming, death, Maris. Like, I would have alteration and banish orbs and not really worry about reroll orbs. Since all we want to do is get, you know, soul stealers going. I mean, I was going to take lifelink over to ball lightning because we have the extra projectiles, but... Kind of lost the narrative there. Whatever, it doesn't matter. How much better this run is than the last one? Um, yep. Yep. But I think that's also because we have multiple skills doing more damage than anything else we're doing was doing. And now we have an extra dash because why not? Like, realistically, Blades is doing better than anything else we had before. Soul Stealers is obviously doing better. Mayhem is making everything we do better. Shurikens is another layer of damage. We have Ravens that are probably doing a decent amount of damage as well now, too. Hell, even Lightning Orbs at Novice isn't, are doing some damage. Powerful Katana of Ignoring. That means it's got some wasted space on Banish Orbs. Um. Again, you don't really need Shurikens when you have this many projectiles, so you just take Chains of War here. Just kind of happy with it. So the staff is weird. Like, I, I haven't done much with it, but I think now that I've played with it a little, it feels like, just to me, um, I can just take chain lightning, whatever. Uh, it feels like that for your basic attack, you want to be either using warp strike, deadly strike, or, um, what summers? Vengeful strike? Maybe Rupture works with the pushback. I'm not exactly sure. I thought my thing, I thought my inventory is full because I tried to pick that up and then I didn't hear the like full noise. I guess I overran it. All right, Serendipity. Uh... Mort getting luck is really a slap in the face, to be honest, like. It's 
really, there's really no reason that the best god should also get the best um, passive upgrade. Mort should definitely, they should definitely change it to Mort gets summoned. I don't know who would get Luck though. I think Luck should probably move to the Fates. I, I, that feels thematically appropriate. Uh, I'm glad we have 184 life. Because we lost 60 of it when we got hit by the, by the Golden Child there. This is... Those were not ideal options. It's Mayhem. Do a Mayhem check. 151. You know. I mean... The cursed kills are really are really competing with rupture and lightning at this point, so it's not. Lightning can strike the same place twice, if I will it, of course. Okay. Okay. Also, you could tell he was a late addition. I feel like he got a little less love than the other characters. Him and <laughs> that was. This is what I was talking about. This. This part of the run without armor is so scary. One random freeze into like a combo from the assassins, the ghost assassins, and your run can be over. Now, if you survive you know, this part with vampirism, make it past these guys, then you get to the horde and you're fine because, well, you get infinite healing, but... Definitely missed some shrines that have been running around. Okay. We survived it. We're gonna be virtuous. Yeah. We're gonna... Do a little bit of damage here. Allow me. Allow me to interfere. Okay, sure. Interfere away. We basically full healed immediately. Um, Soul Stealers is going to. Uh, well, let's be real. It's not just Soul Stealers. It's basically every ability we have is good for clearing out these this wave. Uh, Rupture is good for it. Change is good for it. Uh, take heals here. Lightning Orbs is good against that part. Um... Like everything all right where is he at ow we can definitely die here we can also try and outlast Well, basically, anytime you don't have armor, you can lose this fight really easy. We also don't have evasion, so that's probably not the best. Also, can't see a damn thing. All right, well, we got him. It felt bad to like end the video without winning, so we needed to win. I needed to win. We have only level thirty-eight. Let's see what the damage looks like though at the end. What's the mayhem count? 324, not that good. Soul Stealers, Blades, Chains of War. Well, I mean, look at this. We're using blue Soul Stealers, blue Lightning Bolt, blue Chain Lightning. 
purple blades. Only Master Chains of War. Not bad when you look at it. Obviously, you throw on infinite pickup range, and that runs just better, though. But I do think the staff is sweet. So let's see here. Sell. Sell. Uh. This dagger is close. You still sell it, though. Just sell everything. Just nothing comes close. Actually. Some things are close. That's a lot of evasion and armor and master offers, but I think... Yeah, she just has a better helmet. Oh well. Alright, let's see if the shop was nice. This good common and staff is great. Um, maybe. Perhaps. Master offers crit chance spell area. Can we compare? Ooh. Ooh, alteration dice. Ugh. Oh, that's just better. Okay, well, it comes up slightly short, but it's close. It's close. I appreciate decent uh, shops. Still no dash boots. Pull off boots. It's a shame. Oh, well. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another run uh, using something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Maybe a tank build. It's been a while. But uh, yeah, have a good day. See you next time. Jeff out. Bye.